Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. I am here on my city and chunk build world to teach you guys how to build this summer chunk build here in MC today. Now as you guys know, or may know, I have recently started a brand new mini series in which I'll be teaching you guys how to build each of the four seasons here in a chunk build format. We have spring just besides us and this is my new summer one. How you doing buddy? You alright? You wanna go on my shoulder? Oh, by the way, do you love the fit? I love this outfit so much. It, it's my summer outfit, so don't judge, guys. And ladies, I'm so sorry the shoulders are out. I know that's all you've been waiting for, but still. <laughs> um, we have over here, firstly, a panda snack beach bar. Um, I call it that because although pandas don't really have anything to do with the summer as such, um, this is bamboo, and it just made sense to call it something to do with pandas, for sure. We have a bunch of these cockatiel sort of parrots around the place this one's swimming do you want to lift bro there you go um we have some beach kind of sun lounges over here under a nice umbrella of course um by the way there's a piglin head up there because i felt it looked really cool and also i wanted to try out some of these new materials and add them to this build we also have a rent a surfboard over here it's a five pound deposit so i think that's pretty cheap we have the campfire some of these nice old sort of tiki lamp pole thingies and then two good old palm trees. You gotta have these, of course. There is another parrot up there as well. We also have two turtles riding a raft because I love the rafts and um, I can, apparently the turtles do as well. Don't they, parrot? Um, so yeah, there is a lot to cover in this tutorial. It is quite a jam-packed little chunk build, but I'm really, really happy with the way this one turned out. Ooh, that is not good. I think I just cracked that egg. Scrambled turtle eggs, anyone? Whoops. All right then, assassins. So to get started with today's chunk build, we are going to be building an 18 by 18 block square. Now, I believe that the uh, spring chunk build was a little bit smaller. It kind of looks a slight bit smaller, doesn't it? But this one, we need more of the beach and obviously more of the ocean because we're trying to go for that sort of um, tropical island kind of scene. So we've built it a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger. It's only two blocks. We're going to take ourselves mossy cobblestone, some cobblestone, some sand, some smooth sandstone slabs, and of course, some water. It'd be very, very important to have the water. <laughs> We're going to go four blocks away from my original. You guys don't need to worry about this part. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go ahead and mark out an 18 by 18 shape from the singular block here in the grass. So I'm going to go up. As I know, my previous one is 18. I already know that this is going to be 18 as well. But if you guys need to count, please feel free. That is absolutely awesome. It is dou it's doubly best, I was going to say, but it is a doubly best um, to check your work for sure. It is awesome to double check your work, make sure everything is spick spam. Right, that is going to be 18. So I'm now going to texture my two cobblestone materials by just basically alternating them as I go ahead and build this little sort of border. And then I want to go 18 this way. Now I have number one already, so I only need to add in 17. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'm now going to go ahead and go up until I'm roughly the same layer. There we are. And then I can cut back in to make this square. I'll just fill in that one little gap. And this is the radius we are going to need for our big tropical island. So now let's go ahead and cobblestone the entire area around this. So just marking everything up basically building our little border in so that we have everything ready to go for our tropical place. There we are. Now once you've done that, we want to of course add in basically a quarter of this, if not a little bit more, to be the ocean. So as you can see here, I've got quite a big area of this as my ocean space. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go from the back of the build, so whichever way you guys want to face the, the sea is where we're going to build now. So go ahead and face the way you want your sea to be closest to. So I'm going to go ahead and build mine on the back of this square. And I'm going to go ahead and go down to the left corner over here. And I'm going to make sure I go in from the border. So minusing the cobblestone, starting on the actual grass. One, two, three, four, just here. And then I'm going to cut into the floor here to add in my first slab just in here. 
awesome and then I'm going to go ahead and go just down from this one to add in myself a normal sand block and then next to the slab here I'll do two more sand blocks going upwards and behind this I'll do two slabs here so we're basically building this sort of stepped up part out of the ocean onto dry land and that is what we're trying to do over here with our slabs and sand so although it looks a bit confusing it's actually pretty simple so from this we go diagonally over here and add in three more slabs and I think we'll do all the slabs together and then come back for our normal sand in a moment so normal slabs just there for those three then we want to cut back in for one diagonally two going up diagonally one diagonally to the right then we go two diagonally to the um, up then two to the right and then we're going to drop back down diagonally to the right here for three down diagonally to the right for four and we should be at the end just there so you can see we've almost made like a pirate cove just in here which looks awesome so if we cut out this second layer so basically every block next to a slab now is going to be transformed from dirt to sand just like so there we are and then we want to go ahead and build another layer down from that sand to be more slabs because this is on a normal minecraft bedrock edition world which means we can only go down about three or four layers before reaching bedrock which is a bit of a pain but we're definitely going to work around that so that looks good so let's go beneath the sand now so to that next layer of dirt and just add in a slab in front of your sandy beach already just here this is going really well there we are and now if we go ahead and cut out this middle section oh a little bit of lag there sorry about that cut out this middle section so these two layers of dirt and grass then we can go ahead and build the seabed to be normal sand of course or you can mix it up and texture it a little bit further if you want to as well so let's go ahead and just knock out all of this lovely but not necessary grass just in here at the moment oops There we are, and we're going to transform this dirt down here into normal sand. So let's get that done guys, and hop back to the tutorial. Oh, also, before I do skip this on, make sure to change up your beach as well into normal sand as well. So as you can see, there's no grass on the inside of this border, it is all completely sanded over, ready for our beach materials and things. So let's get back to it. Voila! How cool does that look now? We definitely have a beach made in Minecraft now, which is wicked. Now, you see the dirt layer down here? Of course, we don't want it to say dirt because it looks a bit sort of messy. So you can either change it to the cobblestone as you've done for your border, or you can do what I did on my original and just change it all to sand. So you can kind of give the illusion that the beach and the seabed almost continues this way as well. And that is basically the idea of trunk, chunk builds. So you guys can go and build this, but then if you want to go ahead and remove the border and then build another chunk build next to it, kind of similar, you can eventually have an entire beach laid out so that is kind of these are like the setting stones of a city really so that's pretty cool we're going to take ourselves a water bucket now and we're going to go ahead and fill up our ocean area with water i recommend starting at the bottom and just sort of filling this all up like that or roughly and then go to the slabs and do the same like this and then come up a little bit and do basically until you reach this layer of the sand and if you go along the edge of the cobblestone here as well eventually it should all set itself to a steady level but if you do have edges where you know the water still looks like it's flowing just go ahead and click your water bucket on that particular block and it should sort itself out and there we are we have ourselves the ocean it's a very small ocean I know but it is an ocean nonetheless <laughs> now we need to get some more materials to go ahead and build our trees next i think all right then guys so the next step in today's tutorial like i said will be for these trees now these are very very kind of well simple i'd say um palm trees which is nice they look really cool in this tutorial and um yeah they just they are pretty simple to build so we've got the materials just here we're gonna need some jungle wood some spruce slabs some cocoa beans yummy some jungle leaves <laughs> Well, not the actual cocoa beans, they're not yummy. 
when they're turned into chocolate, they are delicious, but apparently they're disgusting otherwise. <laughs> sea towel eggs, dead bush, pink carpet, light blue carpet, and a bamboo raft as well. Okay then. Oh, sorry. I apologize about my parrots. They kind of followed me over, and that one really wants to get out. Stay there, buddy. Keep guard of that tropical island. You're the man of the island. <laughs> Alright, we're... Dude. Okay, then. You sit there. Alright, anyways, back to this, the uh, build. If we take our jungle wood, we want to come down to this corner over in this bottom left bit, just down here. And we're firstly going to start by building ourselves the base of our palm tree. Now, this sounds pretty tricky, but it's actually not too bad. If you look over there, the roots of our palm tree aren't actually that special. It's only like a few blocks on the floor down here. And I just want to go ahead and make sure I get this in the right position. So we're firstly going to start with the second block in just here in this corner and go like this in a bit of a corner shape. Make another block on that one with a spruce slab on. And now we're going to go ahead and build this up diagonally away. So you have to place one block to remove it in order to place these two over here at a diagonal angle. Now I want to do another slab on both of those and then do another two coming up diagonally from the slab like so. But you don't need to add a slab on top of this one as this is the top of the tree now. It's not a very tall tree at all. At all? Tall tree at all? <laughs> um, but it is very important to get enough blocks in here so it's not going to be, you know, shadowing over the entire ocean. That is not what we want. So once you've done that though, now you have the trunk of the tree. You can take yourself some cocoa beans and just sort of place them around. Of course they will grow over time and if you have your tick speed on quite high they will grow very very quickly. So I'm just going to stick a few like that. I'm going to stick a dead bush underneath this one and I'm also going to stick myself... well I'll do that afterwards actually. Yeah, that's fine for now. Then I want to go over here and build the chunk of this tree. Chunk? Trunk. The trunk for the trunk build. Very confusing I know. So we're going to go to this bit over here. So this is where there's two slabs and just a single one and then it goes into the bit of the L shape over there. So just here. Go back on yourself for two blocks. On three and four, build these two and then this one up here. So same as the old one. Then we double up on this one and add a slab on it. And then of course we need to cut out diagonally again to go up over here. And then also once again up from that position there. Don't forget to add in your slab, <clears throat> excuse me, on the second one, just like so. And these almost look like they connect, but obviously they're not going to. This one is going to be uh, a little bit taller, and this one's going to be a little bit shorter. So that's all good. Brilliant. That looks really good. I'm going to add myself a cocoa bean just on the bottom of that middle trunk. I'll add a dead bush down here, and maybe two turtle eggs just there, and one single one around the corner. I'm also going to add myself in two little sort of towels for maybe some swimmers so I'm going to add in myself two pink carpets here on the diagonal of that three block of slabs and then a space away two blue just there as well perfect they just look really cute under the tree there or you could even add a hammock between the two trees I would love to see what you guys come up with that'd be awesome all right the next thing is going to be for our leaves one of the hardest parts about building trees in Minecraft especially if they're man-made trees it is extremely difficult sometimes to build the good old leaves, but we'll try our best. We want to firstly come to this left one. I'm going to build myself two leaves going above, like so. I'm going to come out on this one, this one, this one, this one. But as you can see, we have not just four points on our tree. We have one, two, three, four, but then five, six, seven, and eight. And it looks obviously in a bit of a diagonal and sort of circular shape. So we need to go ahead and make that as well. Now the best thing for this to do, to um, sorry, the best thing for us to do even is to just go ahead and double up this section, just like so. And then if you look over here, we've kind of gone down on the corners, but then also added in our extra blocks on those corners. So we do that, that just here, that one there, oops, and that one just there. So there's our extra four. And now to make that curve shape, we need to of course add in the singular one. And then it also drops down a block after that one. So we do one, a temporary, and then one. Knock that one out. One, temp, knock. And then one, temp, one, knock. One, temp, knock. 
I mean, <laughs> you get the idea anyways. I just messed up my English there. But there we are. That is one of our palm trees done. So it wasn't too bad at all, I don't think. Yeah, that looks lovely. You can obviously go ahead and make these however you wish as well. You don't have to stick to my version. They are supposed to be trees after all. So they're going to be natural and look a bit sort of, you know, just random really and a bit crazy. So you can do whatever you wish with that, guys. That is no problem at all. I'm going to go back to this tree now and sort of get this one sorted out as well. Now, I feel like I may have made this a bit strange. I have. I've gone a bit diagonal with this one. What I'm going to do is fix this because we don't want it to touch the other tree like I was on about. We want it to be its own sort of tree here. So I'm just going to go a bit straighter with the um, trunk there so it goes more towards the other trunk build rather than towards that tree. But if you did want to build the hammock between the two, I recommend going in towards one another like that. So like at a diagonal angle and then you have the two trunks almost lined up with each other for a nice hammock. So for this one, it's a little bit different. It's not too different. We still go ahead and build two up here. But then we're going to double up just around like so in that sort of shape. You see what I've done there? Pretty cool. And then what I'm going to do is trim off these top ones and just build these down instead. So we're now surrounding one part of the trunk. And then I'll go ahead and add blocks in between those areas like so. So we now have this shape. Then I want to go ahead and place a block here to then do our diagonal with going down as we did on the old one. So we do that here as well, here as well. And on this side, we can we can do it, but it's going to be obviously a little bit close to the other one. But that shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. There we are. And then I also did a bit of a different thing on this one, too, is as you can see in the middle, I've actually gone down two blocks and then a single one on the same layer. So I'm going to do it over here to show you here, down two, here. Once you get that diagonal, it's down two. again over here. There we are. And again over here can be easy to get yourself lost with these because there are a lot of leaves now but there we are and then all you need to do is just add in another diagonal one after that one on only three of the sides we're not going to do it on the fourth side on this side around here because we have this umbrella that is going to be in the way so we don't do this one we will do this one around here though like so so you should have two trees looking like so Wonderful, guys. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it was. So happy days. <laughs> Phew. Brilliant. Let's get some new materials. And, oh, actually, let's finish off our dead bushes and our turtle eggs. Okay, so for the other side of our palm tree, um, where we have the back of the trunk here, you can go ahead and add in some more dead bushes and turtle eggs and whatever else you'd like. I recommend doing maybe just a single turtle egg in the back corner there. And then we're going to go to the back corner here of the actual border and we'll go one, two, three to the left and up for a single one over here to add in a dead bush there. By the way, beneath this second palm tree, the one that is a bit taller or a bit bigger even than the other one, you can go beneath it and just add in a couple more leaves down here if you'd like to, just to kind of sp like spruce it up a little bit more and make it look a bit more chunky than it is now. Now, I think I've built this a, diff a little different to my original one, but I am happy with this one. We may even be able to add in that, that next leaf around here if we, if we have enough space. But for now, I'm happy with both of them, and I can keep it like this. Lovely. Okay, so let's add in some more of these dead bushes. There's going to be another one just down in this left corner, just here next to my parrot. And then we're also going to go to the three up here, drop back on the middle one, and just build a dead bush in there. Now it's important to get these in the right spots at the moment, just so that when we go ahead and build everything else, we know, oh, there's nothing gonna be there because there's a dead bush there, you know? So that's sorted. Don't forget to go ahead and add in some more cocoa beans on your trunk, just here and here. Lovely, I think that's enough. We don't need too many. And then we'll go ahead and add in our bamboo raft just over here next to the two little blank, um, sorry, towels over there. Almost said blankets. You don't need a blanket on the beach. Not, for, <laughs> not at all, but there we are. Awesome, let's get some new materials and get some more uh, furniture done, really. So for our third step, we're going to take ourselves a campfire, a bamboo fence, yellow candles, some light blue wool, cherry slabs, which is the first time I'm using these in a tutorial, which is lovely, scaffolding, bamboo slabs, 
bamboo stairs and bamboo trap doors and it's also the debut of using bamboo in a tutorial happy days so let's go ahead and start with our campfire just over here we want to go one block up from our dead bush another block up just here so that's two and then one to the left and we build it just here one block away from the turtle um, egg just there the smoke should still come through the leaves of your palm tree that's very important awesome now we want to go ahead and build ourselves a bamboo fence worth two blocks here behind the dead bush and to its right three blocks both of these will have single white candles on just like so and don't forget you can light these as well and it will look lovely at night time now then over this way we want to build our two kind of sun lounges just here where you can soak up a nice tan so we're going to go ahead and take ourselves a bamboo trapdoor here and here then we'll do a single slab behind and then a single stair behind those slabs we can also do trapdoors on the back of the chairs like so and then we'll do next to the actual stairs one two three bamboo fences like so we want to do ourselves a light blue block in the middle and then we're going to branch out on each of the sides like so then we'll take cherry slabs in the little gaps around and then one single one on the very top of our umbrella just like so lovely now there's one thing missing and it's going to be a little table in the center there and we're also going to grab ourselves some signs for little armrests in a second as well that looks lovely now after a quick material switch up we're going to go ahead and build ourselves the little panda snack bar over here the kind of little tiki bar on our tropical island we want to take ourselves some bamboo mosaic stairs lovely some bamboo slabs bamboo hanging signs a piglin head very new material bamboo trap doors bamboo fence gates block of stripped bamboo which looks like a waffle or an ego very cool bamboo fences and a seeker pickle as well now we want to build in this space just here and it's going to be uh, literally the block back from this dead bush so this layer here and it's going to be a block in from the edge just here and we want to do three of our block of stripped bamboo facing it directly to the sky so we have the sort of waffle design on top we'll take ourselves a bamboo trap door folded down the middle of both sides and on the ends as well then we want to do ourselves fence gates on the sparse sides but open so they maybe look like little chairs or even some wheels for wheeling the tiki bar around the island then we'll take ourselves some bamboo fence up for two on each of the sides of our tiki bar we'll next take ourselves a this is going to be a little bit awkward but we're going to have to take ourselves a normal stair for a second to put an upside down an upside down <laughs> upside down one behind it like so and then we'll do ourselves an upside down one this way around as well so let's do that again upside down on the outside upside down on the inside a slab in the middle just like so and then we're going to do normal stairs on each side coming down like so and then slabs across the very top for those five wonderful we'll do a piglin head on each of our upside down stairs on the ends oops my bad doubled up there we go and then we'll do ourselves a hanging sign just here and on this sign you can write yourselves the same as mine panda snack beach oops not beach two beach bar and then just drop it down a level just so that everything looks oh no actually i'll stick it on the same one yeah it's fine so that one looks really good and then we'll do the second one just around here make sure you do what you do to one sign to the other as well on the adjacent side just so that it looks nice and kind of similar you know we want everything to be the same perfect and then we'll do a sea pickle or at least two sea pickles in the middle for maybe some cups already on the tiki bar just like that wonderful now we are on to some final materials for our build let's get them so now before we crack on with the final final part of actually adding species to our tropical island we're going to need to grab these materials a glistening melon with an item frame a bamboo sign a light blue banner a pink banner 
a banner pattern, this is actually the Borgia indented one, and pink and light blue dye as well. Alright then, first things first, let's go ahead and give our sun loungers an armrest each, just on the stairs like so. Then we're going to do a little sign just here, three blocks in on the actual beach here. We'll do it at a slight angle, just so you can see it when you're out to sea. And we're going to write on this one, um, rent a board, meaning obviously surf, uh, surfboard, whatever a surfboard is. Um, <laughs> and then you can write whatever currency you want. I'm going to go with Great British Pounds, and I'm going to write five pounds just on here. And I'm going to make sure that that is about in the middle of my board. Pretty good. Uh, and I might just drop the five pound down a bit and add in deposit on the end of this one as well, just to make it a bit more professional, you know? I'm trying to run a business here, make it look pretty pro. There we go, I think I've done it wrong. Ah, there we go, let's just sort that out a bit. Ah, well, you guys can get it better than I can. I mean, obviously I don't know anything about running a surfboard business, but that'll do, that'll do. Ugh. Right, anyways, <laughs> I've also placed myself a loom down here, and I'm gonna open up my loom I'm going to take myself my light blue banner firstly, in there like so. And I want to make myself two of the exact same boards, just different colours. So I'm going to take myself light blue, no no, I'll take pink instead because I'm using a light blue banner. So I'll take my pink, I'll go with a blue, uh, sorry, a pink pally, which I think is, that's not that one. Okay, this could take me a second. It's that one. <laughs> it's the stripes. So we take that and we put it back in. Then we swap to the other material because we want to fill in around this now, just to get two central lines for a sort of surfboard design. So we put our um, same banner color in with our die just here. And we want to go ahead and find ourselves the Borgia indented. It will be this one, like so. Drop that back into our loom. We want to take a pale sinister, which I believe is going to be the, is it the left side? That's Dexter. Sinister is the other side, I believe. Oops. It is, and then of course we are going to get a Dexter as well, so you could just do them whichever way around. And now we have just ourselves two pink lines down the middle. Now if we go ahead and do the same with the pink one, but of course we start with our, we can start with our light blue on this one, happy days. So we'll get our pally in like so, and then we want to go ahead, put that away, and get ourselves pink, and we want to go with the Borgia, and then we want to go with the Pale Dexter, to be honest I don't know why I used the Borgia, not going to lie, it does nothing, I just realised that, but hey, that's my noob moment for the day, well there's probably been a few to be honest, but hey that's my, uh, you know, newest noob moment, anyways we stick the blue one down, and then the pink one down, and they should look lovely, like surfboards just there, happy days, knock that out, add yourself a glistening melon, upside down like that in the middle above your hanging sign just like that and now we'll go ahead and add some species to our lovely island and we can call it a day now then guys in preparation for our species as you can see there are quite a few on this island i mean actually i did have a dolphin but i think the dolphin went for a swim in the campfire <sighs> anyways um <laughs> we need our animals to have something to eat and that is of course going to be the coral the seagrass and the kelp in the ocean so definitely get those materials firstly just go ahead and spam filling up your bay area with just random bits of coral go ahead and alternate between your different colors make it look really vibrant obviously not too packed up but as you saw my original one it was quite busy so just go ahead and switch up your materials every now and again just to add in as much color as possible maybe not too much coral once you're happy with, you know, enough, then you can call it a day and just start to go with kelp. Like so. Make sure the turtles have some food. And then go ahead and add in your seagrass as well. And you can never have too much seagrass, to be honest. Even if the whole bay was covered up with seagrass, it would look really cool still. So I think that is pretty good. Maybe you guys can think differently. But yeah, I think that'll do me for now. I might just keep adding a few bits here and there. <laughs> but once you are happy with your bay, you want to take yourself some barriers. And if you don't know how to get these, let me show you. You come down to the ground. You open up your chats and commands window. You go ahead and type in here, slash, that's a forward slash, um, give, just straight after that, at S, which is going to be for yourself in your world. 
and then you want to type in just barrier like so and as you can see in the, in the bottom left corner of my screen there's a little barrier or like a closed symbol icon and once I hit enter on this it will go ahead and say you have given one barrier to wheel assassin in this case now it won't just mean one you've given yourself infinite amount of these because you're playing creative mode but when you are holding these you can see your barriers and when you're not they're invisible however you cannot pass through these as you can see cannot walk behind me any further so that is really good also worth noting that in survival mode these are indestructible you cannot destroy them in survival so please bear that in mind guys but as you can see here i've just covered up my entire square with these barriers to stop my animals from escaping which sounds really mean but if we're trying to keep to a chunk build we want our animals to keep to the chunk as well so you're going to go ahead and just cover up your entire habitat with your barriers just here so i'm going to get on with this over here and then we'll populate it with some animals all right then so now we are all barriered up ready for our creatures and uh yeah just giving them a nice new home we're going to take ourselves some parrots some sea turtles some dolphins puffer fish tropical fish squid and an axolotl as well now warning for certain animals the axolotl for example if you have the axolotl you probably won't be able to have the tropical fish because they do attack each other well the tropical fish don't really attack the axolotl the axolotl is kind of just a cute bully so be aware of that also you don't want to overpopulate your chunk build because it is quite a small area you don't want to definitely overpopulate and cramp all the animals in here because it would just look a little bit crowded so as you can see i have two turtles which i think is a good amount so i'm going to go ahead and drop these guys in here like so they just swim around the bay they look lovely and then we can add in ourselves well we already have a parrot in the corner over here so you can go ahead and just stick another one maybe on a tree over here or something there you go um so two parrots are really good kind of do them in pairs we'll do one dolphin because i think the dolphin oh that's a baby that that's really cute um we'll do <laughs> just a dolphin there he'll chill out with the turtles We'll do ourselves a little puffer fish just in here. Those are really, really cool creatures. I love them. We can do like a few tropical fish, maybe like a school of fish. So we'll probably do about five of these. That's four. And then a fifth one just in there. And then I wouldn't recommend adding in a squid if you have things like the puffer fish, for example. Because I think, again, they do sort of go a well on each other. So if you've got that, that's all good. You could also add in yourself a llama, like a trader llama. And then put a lead against the tiki bowl um, bar, sorry, or even the umbrella or anywhere else really where there's a fence post. Uh, that would also look good. I did also add in a camel, but I felt it was a bit too big for the chunk build. But yeah, guys, you can honestly add in anything you wish in this little area uh, as long as it's not too crowded, like I said. So yeah, it's up to you guys. But that is it for today's tutorial. Well then, assassins, I really appreciate you watching another chunk build of mine. Thank you so much for joining me for another seasonal one as well. It has been really fun to go ahead and build like spring, summer so far. Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to autumn and winter because I have a few ideas in mind for both of those chunk builds. So if you are interested in staying tuned for those, please go ahead and consider subscribing today, joining the Assassinhood for free, and um, yeah, sticking around for these future chunk builds and other tutorials I might make. So yeah, thank you guys, that'd be wicked. If you also have felt like you've learned something new here today, or even just picked up like maybe a technique for your worlds, please go ahead and drop a like on the video guys, that would be awesome. It does get this video recommended to more players out there in the universe, and um, yeah, it just uh, puts this video out there on YouTube too, so thank you very much for that. Also guys, you can check out my links to social media in the description below, and you can follow me up there for any news or tips or whatever coming on those really, so that would be good as well. But I'll let you guys go. Have an excellent rest of your day. Thank you very, very much for watching. Have an epic summer, wherever you may be from. Actually, let me know in the comments below. Which country are you currently watching this from? I would love to hear. And is it summer for you guys? Or are you just kind of getting into the summer mood, you know, by watching this vid? Totally relate to that, if you are. <laughs> Take it easy, assassins. Have an excellent rest of your day. Stay tuned. And I'm off to go eat some marshmallows at my campfire with my flamingo. Hell yeah. <laughs> Goodbye for now, guys. Thank you so much.